You've served your state at the highest level. I don't think you can do much more than what you've done in the last eight years. Spirit. And I guess your vision now is national and possibly, possibly global. No, even local government. I want my local government to work. But you will not want I to want, become no, no, a I local don't want to become chairman. No, no, no. You don't want to yeah. be. You yes. must not be chairman or yeah. be this to be part. But I want the local government chairman to know, hey, wait a minute. What we want is to give people hope. Don't come and tell us you're doing this when you're not doing it. If you know what you're doing, say it. You know, and always be ready to learn. People say to me, oh, what is your successor going to do? He has a lot of job to do. We've just laid the foundation. And even in laying the foundation of any building, you can maybe there's a, an area the foundation is not good because there might be crack from there. You do it properly. Like I said, and remember that most of the things that I did, I had to do it dragging the people, yelling and crying, even with the times without the rules, because you know what I said when I was impeached? People said to me, oh, you were impeached. What happened with your impeachment? I said, I did nothing. And people didn't believe me. I said, I did nothing. The only problem I did is that I was a driver who had a bus load of people who had since passed their destination, and I was trying to take them at good decision. So when they couldn't stop me, they pushed me out to go back to where they used to be. So I had to drag them from there. Yelling and crying okay. to the destination we are brought That's in now. Right. So what's your vision for Nigeria? Because this is something that I find quite interesting. Once you've served as a governor, some people will then look at, go to the Senate and cool off for another four, eight years. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm not going to the Senate. vision for Nigeria? I'm not going to the Senate. I'm not going to anywhere. And those who are going, they have their reasons to want to go to the Senate. My purpose is that I'm not going to the Senate. And neither do I, am I going to House of Rare. But... Yes, I want to provide the opportunity if I'm asked to serve Nigeria at any level in order to get things to work, I will do that. It is, I keep saying that by the society my children will live in. I do one thing every day. I tell my children to travel to the most difficult part of the world. My first son spent one year going from Costa Rica to Costa Rica to a couple of the Vietnam, the all those things. He's a primary school teacher. That's what he's done. I have only one son. You know, and he's a primary school. He goes, help them build schools and everything. As I talk now, he's somewhere in Africa, I think he's in Tanzania. Phone me yesterday, he's in Tanzania. I'm on Easter holidays. I'm helping the children in Tanzania. And they say, listen, when there was earthquake in, Kuwait, in Haiti, I spent one week there with him. I went personally as a governor. We went together. And he can experience, for us, we stayed in a place where we, we had to queue to use the toilet, to use the bathroom. And when we come in the morning, I'm number 20. He's number 25 and everything where I was governor. And he, he could experience that we're privileged. And we have to. So all those things done and everything. My daughter came in this morning. And he said to me, listen, Daddy, I want to go to... Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, and this, because I've heard what is happening to the children. I've asked him every time I said to my son and my daughter, why don't you do this in Nigeria? Well, my son says, Daddy, I can't do it here. Wherever I go, they say, he's going on son, he's Peter Obi's son. They can't even allow me to live my life. You are the governor. I didn't ask them to vote for me. You asked them to vote for you. So I want to live my life by looking after the children. What I want to see in Nigeria is that let people care for the country. It is a country. We have people who are hungry, we have people without jobs and everything. And that is where I support President Jonathan. He means well. I can say it any day. He thinks about the country. What we need now is to also have people who will do the same thing. Because he's, he's, he can't do everything. He's alone. He needs to, and people, when I look at people like Ngozi Well, and people who don't understand, Ngozi means well. You know, and we're getting more, when you get more and more people, because for you to succeed in government, it won't just be you. It's like a preacher in the church. If you're preaching and everybody wants to go to hell and be in the opposite, there's no way you can make a good bishop. Because anything you like, you preach. They go out and do the worst things. You know, so that is what is happening to them. A preacher or the bishop, the congregation must believe in the same thing and be doing it. 
You may have one or two like Jesus did. Can have one or two Judas along the line. But when the Judas is more than the people, the if all the ten disciples were, you know, people who are criminals, it would have been so earlier than the time they sold him. <laughs> you know, so it, it was that time because he was only one. The other ones believed in him. Mm. So what we need now is to convert more souls to believing in what we are doing, to believing that this is the right way to go, to believing that maybe rebasing or this is good, you know, things like that. You're saying yeah, what about we're doing <laughs> as you're part of this government then? The no, I'm not part of it. I'm saying, well, I participate in it one or two ways. Mm. Okay. okay. Now, we, we have to start uh, winding down now. What would be your message to an Ambrarians all over Nigeria as their ex-leader? Well, mine is to support the present government. That's what I do. I believe... Governor, government of... I uh, believe that Willie Obiano yeah. will do well. I believe he means well. He we needs our prayers. He needs our support. Wherever I go, that's what I do. Just like I do for President Jonathan. Remain prayerful, remain steady, do everything. Don't just go into criticizing. When they bring out policy, look at the policy and urge them to do the right thing. And I believe, like I said, he started now. He started in the right direction. I watched two days ago, they were doing security uh, uh, seminar, which is good. That is what they, because security is very critical. And I was happy when the uh, IG of police said in five years there have not been any bank robbery in Anambra State. That seems to be sustained. It's true. We never had any bank robbery while I was there. So that's where they said it needs to be sustained. It needs to be improved on. And so it's in other areas. For me, that's what I want them to do. I've talked wherever there's need for me to be part of advising on anything. That's it. But my most important prayer is that he succeeds. And don't forget, I, I'm, I'm part of his guarantor, if you may say. <laughs> so it is critical that he succeeds because it becomes a problem for you when you sign a guarantor for anybody yep. and then the person yep. fails. So for me, yep. it is critical that will you be no and the government succeed. And I pray for them every day. I can tell you. I pray for Jonathan, I pray for Nigeria, I pray for them and everything. And that's why whenever I see any issue that people like, issue of rebasing and going on, and people are talking what they should be talking, I feel bad. Because this is a move in the right direction. Rebasing is done, it was done in Canada, in Australia, in the US, in Britain, and everything. Somebody found that there's a, what you needed to include in your calculation, which you didn't include, you included it, which has made our country great, had made our debt to GDP come below 10%. What we should be doing now is say, since we are allowed to borrow maybe up to 60% of our GDP, now that it's come low, what are we going to look at and say, some people say, oh, don't borrow. Some people say, no, 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 it's not. Let us look at those things that we can do that can change and create jobs. Let us look at those things that can make us build on infrastructure that is totally deficit. Let's not look at not this now provide power and say, okay, this thing where there's nothing wrong in borrowing. If you're borrowing to do what will bring value and pay itself back, borrow. Okay, so yeah. finally we have to close now and let me just ask you this one question as we close and that is, will APCA have a presidential candidate or are you looking at supporting the man you believe has a vision for Nigeria? Well, that is for the party. You know, for you, me... But the, you're pretty much the... No, 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 uh, yes. Chairman Emeritus. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm leader in Afghan, but <laughs> yes. it is not for me. I like to talk in, When you want to talk for a party, you consult other people. We have party chairman, we have a governor, we have other leaders in the party you talk, you so don't go will and be the answer. Decision of As, the party. It's not me, I don't answer recklessly. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay. You need to consult. Okay. You know, it is important. It's leader of the, the party. Victor May is there as the chairman, will be annoyed there as the governor. Even if I'm the leader, you consult them and you deal with them. Okay. okay. All right. Our Thank special guest of the week this morning, the former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. So Sunrise will return in just a moment with yet another very interesting conversation. And just May to let our viewers know that uh, the Lagos Economic Summit has ended 
and um, our correspondent Chimeze Obiwagu brings you a special report which is usually our focus on the economy. Here is the report. <laughs> 